I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the Forever Purge might actually be the best Purge movie yet. I'm not even joking. Let's just head over to the review. Welcome back film fans, this is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we're going to be talking about the fifth and final movie in this long, beloved franchise called The Forever Purge. So before watching this film, I was able to go back and re-watch all the Purge movies because I haven't seen them in such a long time. So when I re-watched them all, I thought they were all exactly the same as I thought of them as being a mediocre, boring, and completely uninteresting franchise with some good things sprinkled in, but not bad enough to be this horrible, horrendous franchise that some people think of these movies are. So going into the Forever Purge, I had my expectations very low as I didn't see the trailer, I just saw the poster, and I didn't know what to expect from this movie but since watching the movie I think this movie finally did something new in this franchise, taking it to a whole different state, a whole different part of the United States, and take this story that we know of having the purge for 12 hours on purge night and extending it into a whole other story with this purge and they made it so much more interesting i know it seems like i'm giving so much praise to this movie like i love it so much but i do have many issues with it as many of the filmmaking qualities and a lot of the issues i had with the other movies still apply to this one too so let's just start with the positives first and we're gonna go right in with the story I do think this is the best story out of the, all the Purge movies because it takes an idea of having the Purge on Purge night for its 12 hours, but what would happen if people all teamed together and made the Purge more than one night and it just keeps going and people are defining the law? This could actually happen and it makes it much more of a scary, more plausible idea than characters in other movies just stopping right at the last second as the siren goes off and now they are not able to do any of of their violent crimes that they would just because it just ended literally like 10 seconds ago sure many of these elements don't always work as it does have many of the traditional purge things that you would come to expect the things i really don't like about this franchise like characters sitting around sometimes they feel too safe and not being able to take advantage of its full potential which this movie definitely does but I think being able to see so much chaos in the cities and people getting killed and destroyed and just being total mayhem is exactly what these Purge movies should be. What I also like with this movie is that they essentially made this movie a western and I thought that was the coolest and most interesting thing that they did. Sure, there was a way more cooler things that they probably could have gone, especially with the weapons and being able to take advantage of that western lifestyle. My next positive with this movie is the violence. I do think the violence in this movie is the best of this entire franchise, but it's not saying much as I truly do think they could have done way more of the violence as some of it does feel a little tame. But comparative to watching all the Purge films in a row, this one stands out the most as there are way more violent acts and they cut away from these violent acts less. My last positive is that I actually think this is the most entertaining and somewhat engaging Perch film. But in this movie in particular, it just kept flowing and there were so many more interesting things that were happening and had a lot of themes of immigration and how the US treats those immigrant people and, fo and foreign people who live in this country. I feel like there was so much more to say say than just the rich and the poor themes that we've seen in any other kind of movie. So let's get right into the boatload of negatives I have and we're going to start with the characters. I did find the characters to be quite forgettable and pretty terrible as they aren't the worst as we've seen in these other Perch films, but I did find them quite weak and completely uninteresting. I could not tell you any of these characters' names for the life of it, but I could tell you that Frank Grillo's character in some of the other Purge movies was the best character because he stood out. No one in this movie stood out as some of the characters did make some of the poorest and dumbest decisions possible that I just could not stand. My next negative is that this movie doesn't take advantage of what it wants to go for. There are so many deeper themes about the immigration and the United States and how they treat foreign people in this movie, but they don't go all the way in it as many of the messages in this movie are right on the nose. And I think some of these things could be a lot more subtle and done and executed in a more creative way. But these films just 
always are on the nose and it makes these movies feel kind of tacky and very lame while doing it. My other negatives are with the editing and directing. I do think that this film has some of the most mediocre and bad directing and editing in these movies, especially during the action scenes. I do admit that some of the action scenes do look a tiny bit better than some of the other films because we have a brand new director for this film. But there are times where the editing is so choppy and so distracting. I don't have too much to say about this movie because this is the fifth movie in this franchise that most people don't really care for as they do make money at the box office. So at this point, if you are a big fan of these Purge films, highly recommend it. You probably already seen it opening weekend. But if you're someone that doesn't really like these Purge films, I would have to skip this movie unless you want to see something a little bit more different and a little bit more interesting than those other Purge films if the trailer did interest you. I am giving The Forever Purge a 5 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the following review.